Here comes Roman Reigns. Once the enforcer for the shield, now his own man. And more dangerous than ever. The following contest is a triple threat match. And is for the WWE Championship. Introducing the challenge, representing the Shield from Pensacola, Florida. Weighing in at 265 pounds, one half of the WWE Tag Team Champions, Roman Reigns. The WWE Universe seems to have some mixed emotions about Roman. Oh, they think Roman still has a lot to prove, that he might not be ready for the big time, for main event status. But I don't think winning over the WWE Universe is Roman's focus right now. He senses that he's on the cusp of greatness and giving his all every night to make it happen. If you want to be the next big thing to sit at the head of the table, it's on you to take that next step. Roman's rallying cry has been, I can and I will. Can he do it here tonight? It's time to stand up and show some respect to the future of WWE, Seth Rollins. And introducing the challenger, representing the Shield from Davenport, Iowa, weighing in at 217 pounds. One half of the WWE Tag Team Champions, Seth Rollins. The man who bought in. The man who knows what's best for business. Uh, more like the man who sold out, who proved he cares about no one but himself. Well, it's lonely at the top, Saxton, and that's exactly where Rollins wants to be. And when the architect has his sights set on something, it's only an inevitability. Sometimes it can be hard to tell just how good Seth Rollins really is. But he really is capable in the ring. We've seen that before and will no doubt see that tonight. Well, I'd say he's more than capable. Rollins believes he's on a whole other level. And it's hard to argue against that. Ah, the beast is in the house! Introducing the champion from Minneapolis, Minnesota, weighing in at 286 pounds, the WWE Champion, Brock. It is cowboy time at the Showcase of the Immortals. Brock Lesnar has been a WrestleMania main eventer ever since his first WrestleMania, where he won the WWE title from Kurt Angle. Since then, he's had many main event encounters against the likes of Triple H and Roman Reigns, even ended the Undertaker streak. But this man has a WrestleMania chip on his shoulder after losing the championship unification match against Roman Reigns at the biggest WrestleMania match of all time.
That's what it's all about. The WWE Championship. The challenger wanted this opportunity. Now he's got it. Well, it's always fun to go to the zoo until you fall into the lion's den. The challenger had better sharpen his teeth. For over 50 years, the WWE Championship has stood as the premier championship in professional wrestling. And tonight, we may see a new chapter in its storied history. Both champion and challenger are motivated by the biggest prize of them all. The man who lays claim to that title can call himself the very best competitor in this industry. Double DDT. An alliance formed there to overwhelm the champ with great effect. Sidewalk slam. Running STO plants him. Nicely done. Fisherman suplex classic. Oh, man. And an impactful display of offense we just witnessed there. Absolutely no telling what's underneath the ring tonight. And here comes Old Faithful. The steel chair is in hand. To the outside. Getting tossed out of the ring like that can do some long term damage. I hope they're okay. Corey, what are the perils of this match that superstars must be concerned with? Now, this is the type of setting where you must be aware of outside interference because when it's no disqualification, it's not considered interference. It's legal. The match can change in an instant when another individual who is not officially part of the match makes their presence felt. That's when a competitor needs to utilize the anything goes stipulation to their benefit and eliminate the mismatch. Hope you boys put your running shoes on. It might be time to clear out. Oh, an arm breaker. Pulverizing the arm is a great way to create an advantage, basically forcing your opponent to fight one-handed. That could produce a dislocation or at the very least, a pinched nerve. And he gets delivered back into the ring. It's the red, white, and blue Thunderbomb. And that horrific force might have taken the champion out. Uh-oh, he's searching for something. He's looking to absolutely destroy his opponent with that chair. Boom! Right on target. Suplex! Fighting the beast back. Oh my god, look at this! They're setting him up! Double suplex! A couple of individuals with an equal purpose uniting forces to dispose of their competition. Pinpointing the leg, punishing the leg. That kind of focused attack on the leg could provide dividends. The challenger eating up some damage. That type of physicality earning Rollins the advantage. Cover! Two count, play the match stays alive. I didn't think we'd see a kick out there. Heads out and he has all the time he wants. Determination in his eyes, and now a kendo stick in his hands. Bam! Reigns up for the Reigns! The title might change hands for the win! And he stops the count. Kick to the gut. Uh-oh. Pop right in the stomach creates the separation. Off without regard. Mark. Fires back with a crucial elbow. And a kick. Oh, that'll rattle you. Moves outside. What's the plan here? The universal signal for extreme. The kendo stick has entered the fray. Sit out power bomb for the big dog. A timely counter. Oh, Ooh, down low and down he goes. Bogue running STO plants him. Nicely done. Head attack for the championship. The pin's broken up. Jumping neckbreaker. Ouch. Textbook jump 
Jumping clothesline. Oof. Up and down into the protoplex. Some hard offense landing on the champ. This should come as no surprise. In a havoc-filled triple threat, you're going to take some big hits. Forks the move by throwing an elbow into the midsection. Brace for impact. Here it comes. The Beast Incarnate with it. And now with the kendo stick in hand, he's ready to do some real damage. Seth has him hooked. Here we go. The Skywalker. Carefully placed stomp to the arm. Able to avoid any harm there. Textbook jumping clothesline. Oof. Into the ring now. Placed in the corner. Oh, man, he is more than fired up right now. Oh, he knew what was coming.
take a trip to Suplex City, courtesy of the Beast. And this might not have a pleasant ending. Driven down face first. And he'll leave the ring for this next stretch. He'll take things into the ring. Going into this match, and now he has the hardware to go along with it. 